So this morning I'm making this video because the most craziest thing happened to me. And I'm I'm not gonna even this was crazy. So last night I went to bed, I meal prepped and I said all I gotta do is cook it. And that's it. Put it in the pot, let it cook. I put it in the pot, put it in the Dutch oven and let it cook. And make some rice and beans, of course. But I said I'm not gonna stay up all night. I'm going to go to bed at a reasonable time because I want to be able to wake up in the morning and feel some kind, keyword, some kind of rejuvenated. So I go to bed about two o'clock. Got to be up by seven. I go to bed at two o'clock. Watch my husband get work, get up for work at four. Okay, he's out the door. My oldest son is out the door. Okay, I'm like, well, I got 30 minutes. I got, it's 6.30, I got 30 minutes. Make sure my alarm was set. Make sure my timer set is a backup. Y'all, when I woke up, it was 7.55. What? Oh, I covered my butt ducks. I'm like, what happened? What? The? I looked out the window. I knew, I knew there was no way that it was 7 o'clock. I knew that it was late. Now my children got to be to school by 8.30, y'all. 8.30. I said, when I get up, I'm going to have a good day. I'm not going to scream. I'm not going to yell. I'm going to be patient. Because it's not their fault that they mama overslept. Not their fault. So I come out to my living room. Y'all, my six-year-old has my phone. <laughs> Can you believe that? He has my phone. And he's putting on a TV show. He has the TV on and he's watching my phone. And I'm like, why do you why do you take my phone? That was my alarm. He doesn't say anything. I remain calm. I don't let it get the best of me. I said, okay. 820, you gotta be out the door. Like I put that in my hand, like 820, gotta be out the door. Showers. Cause some had to shower. There was like they had to shower. That's a story time for another day. They had to shower. So I had three people that had to get a shower, but I have two bathrooms. Oh, thank God. I have two bathrooms. So I had to pull each child in the bath shower. And then I let them out and I put my last child, the third child, get in the shower. But I'm like, wash up, hurry up, boop, 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 boop. So they get out. I'm like, listen, I'm not trying to. I'm in my head saying, you're not going to yell. You're not going to scream. You're not going to do that. It's not these babies' fault that you end up. It's not even your fault at this point that you woke up late. So I'm like, I'm going to be calm. I'm not going to scream. I'm not going to yell. They put their uniforms on. And I'm just talking to my son. My son. I'm like, why? Why did you take my phone? I'm trying to look for an answer. So my daughter, she just the lagging, moving like a snail. Because she always moved like a snail in one time. So she moving like this now. I'm like, Ari, I need you to hurry up. Please hurry up, girl, to school. You'll have 15 minutes to get to school. So she just like, okay. I'm like, y'all, they fighting. They fighting. They not physically fighting, but they're, uh, they're like, they're going back and forth about something. They're not screaming. They're not I'm like, y'all, please. I don't have time for this. Please stop it. Please, I don't have time. We don't have time. You have to get out the door, okay? And they're like, okay. Like, they stopped immediately. And I was calm. I was like, okay. Maybe I should be a lot more calm. But anyway, they stopped fighting. So I look at my son. I said, why do you got your play shoes on? I can't find my regular. I'm just like, Jesus. Jesus. I have a shoe rack. When you come when you come into the, my house, you, do, you can't wear shoes. You have to take your shoes off at the door outside. Have a work outside. Take your shoes off. You have a shoe rack hanging on the door. When you, like, you can't miss it. It's sitting right there. And guess what? They don't use it. Anyway, I can't find my shoes. I'm just like, okay, we got to find a shoe. Got to find a baby shoe for school. Because he can't be looking raggedy. So I'm like, okay. So then my, my eight-year-old comes out the door. Comes out my room because he, he got dressed. You cannot walk through the house and draw. So he got dressed. No offense. My baby looks like James Brown. I'm like, what happened to the baby? 
what happened to the pants? I go and I check. My baby got a size six on. Y'all, he wear eight. So I said, Jesus, I'm going to be calm. I kept saying to myself, I'm going to be calm. I said, I'm going to be calm. I'm not going to yell. I said, hurry up. Take off your pants. Come on. Take off your shirt. Come on. You can't not wear the school. It's too small. So I go in there because I keep uh, uniforms like bundled up together. I wash them, dry them, all that good old grand stuff. And I bundle them up. So all I got to do is just grab and go. Y'all, I went in a bed. My baby didn't have no more clean uniform. I said, Jesus, what went wrong? I said, okay, you're going to be calm. I said, let me go to this drawer. Let me go to this drawer and grab him some clothes. So I said, Marie, remember you said you wasn't going to wash clothes? You was going to wash clothes once a week? Y'all, I don't know what happened to my baby. All he has 10 period. I don't know. I don't know what happened. I said, oh, my God, today is wash day. I did. <laughs> no, I said I was going to wash every 10 days. That's why he don't have no more clean jeans. But I said I was going to wash every 10 days. He didn't have no clean shirts in his drawer. He didn't have no. I said, no. A lot. Please help me. Y'all end up finding him a shirt, a nice shirt, a T-shirt, and a pair of skinny jeans. I said, thank God, just skinny. Because, Lord, if you wasn't, we will be in trouble. So he was looking at the shirt. He's like, Mommy. He looking at the tank top. He like, Mommy, I don't like this tank top. I'm just like, Malachi, please, I don't have time for this. Son. Please don't do me like this. So he just suck it up. So then he looked at the shirt. He said, Mommy, I wear this to bed. I said, Baby. It's not a bad shirt. You're just going to wear it to school, okay? He said, okay. He was so calm. I said, thank you. This ain't nothing but a lot working in my favor. I said, okay, yo, we got to get out the door. Now I'm like, I'm like, give everybody a mask. Make sure everybody got their book bag on. Make sure everybody got their coat on. I already packed snacks and their book bags. Put snacks and their book bags already. So I'm like, all right, they're good to go. Homework is already done. So I'm like, whew, whew. I'm like, breathe, breathe. I'm like, all right, y'all ready to go? You're going to get out the door. Y'all, they have four minutes left. So I said, Marie, you forget something. Marie, you forget something. Already, dirty faces are already clean. They already got moisturizer on their face. That's already done. So I said, Marie, you forget something. Marie, you forget something. I look at my daughter, and she she's taking her hair and throwing it into her, her hoodie because she got, um, she has singles in her hair. So I said, oh my God, hair. I don't, no. We got an oil and brush. But this morning I was running late and I felt so bad doing this, but I was running late. So I said, y'all, in my head, I said, Maria, you're not going to have time for moisture. Every morning I moisturize my kids' hair, but you're not going to have time for it. You just going to have to brush these babies hair, throw this girl edges back, pop that thing up in the bun and get out the door. Got it done within one bit. One minute. So I said, okay, y'all. All right, it's time to walk to school now. Okay? Now grab partner's hands because I have my children grab their partner hand. And I have only one child that don't have a partner. So I have one of the younger ones grab the older one's hands and they walk to school. So I said, and I watched them walk to school. So I said to myself, I can't believe I got this done. I can't believe this was nothing but a lot that I got this done. Within 25 minutes. Y'all, in my house, they get destroyed. Everybody had their mask on. Everybody had their shoes on. Everybody had their coat on. Everybody had their snack in their book bag. Everybody had their... Everybody didn't have their homework. Malachi left his... The story. That's today's story. And I think I'm going to start doing more story times. But that's today's story. And now, Jesus. And I think, oh, this was, this part was really a lot. I thank God my two youngest that stay at home with me was sleeping. Oh, I love my husband. But I thank God he was at work. Because I was moving, like, I'm like, boom, boom, boom. I was trying to move quick as possible without yelling or screaming or making them feel bad this morning. 
because I'm like, I can't do that. It's not these babies' fault. Like I said earlier, it's not their fault that I woke up late due to my six-year-old playing on my phone. It's not their fault. Honestly, it's my six-year-old fault, but I'm not about to make him feel like it's your fault and I'm mad at it. Like, I don't want to send him to school mad. One, you're already about to do hours upon hours at school. And now it's Friday. You like, oh, about to be Friday. I'm not, I'm trying to have that mentality, not to send my child, send my children to school feeling because of my wording, my words or my actions, feeling not in a such good mood. Like, oh, I don't want to go to school today. Mommy done yelled at me. So I said, I'm not going to do that. But, y'all, we got, they got out the house in 25 minutes. 20. 25 minutes. I did that thing. I got them all locked the house in 25 minutes. But you know what? Something told me, Maria, it is 6.30. You need to wake up. You need to get that booty on up. But I said, nah, I'm not about to wake up. I got 30 minutes and I be needing my risks. I really do. If I went to bed at 2, 2 o'clock, 2.30, I'm about to sit right now planning right what I need to do. If I sit up there, and wait. I mean, if I sit up there and go to bed at 2 o'clock, 2.30, and I, I'm waking up at 7, that's 30, that 30, 30 extra minutes, I need that. But son said, wake up. Son said, no. You're going to wake up at 7. And 7 o'clock is going to give you plenty of time. Plenty of time to get them babies out the door. But I'm feeling good. I'm feeling great. I'm about to sit up here and write down the stuff I got to do today. This video is going to be long. I got to write down the stuff I have to do today so I can be successful and accomplish many of things. Because when I just go off of the top of my head, I end up forgetting a lot, a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. All right. That was nice to get off my chest. Okay. How are you guys? But, 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 what, what, what?